Thank you for joining us. This is uh, Elliot Pister from Denbo, and I'm here with Jared Taylor. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, living retaining walls. Jared's going to be hosting the presentation. Denbo, just to give you some background, Denbo is, a, is an agent for a line of products from a company called Filtrex. So while we'll be talking fairly generally about living retaining walls, we'll be using uh, the Filtrex products as a point of reference. Jared's going to talk about um, three products in particular, Edge Saver, Green Locks, and Living Walls. He's going to talk about the design and the different applications for each, and he'll be sharing some project photos with us as well. So I'll introduce Jared now. Thanks very much, folks, again for joining us. As Elliot had mentioned, we are talking about um, green retaining walls today, and I we should maybe clarify that we're not talking about a facade a green wall that would be on the side of a, a block wall a building we're talking about a green uh, retaining system uh, soil retaining system so um, hopefully there's <coughs> that's clear and that people aren't uh, expecting that we're talking about um, the sides of buildings today and green f facade walls for those of you who have um, sat in on our terrace seating and erosion control uh, with compost webinars um, you'll see how this ties in all these products and, and and the way that we deliver them all all tie into each other um, <clears throat> as Elliot had uh, mentioned we are the agents for Filtrex in British Columbia and so um, we rep um, some lines of compost based um, retention uh, soil retention system so I'm going to talk about them today um, for anyone who doesn't have um, design manual um, you, you need to get one of those and I'll be referencing that uh, so any of the information that we that we talk about and hit on here um, this is all in our um, service manual so that's available just give us a call um, send an, uh, an email to Elliot or myself um, or call us and we can get one of these in your hands as a designer. Um, a lot of the information is also found on our on our website. So if you just go to denbo.com, um, you'll find a fair amount of information there. <clears throat> Filtrix has uh, a number of products for slope stabilization as well as erosion control, which we've hit on in the last few um, uh, sessions. But we're going to talk about three separate systems that all are, are similar in, in their makeup um, and how they go together, their, their components, but are, are different in their application. Uh, the first one is Living Wall, which is a trademark name for uh, a, a green green system for slope, just to, to uh, seal off and control erosion on slope. So it would be um, used um, where maybe compost blanket and terrace seating uh, wouldn't stick, maybe if it's too steep. Um, <clears throat> the second one is Edge Saver, which is really aimed at stream banks and shoreline restoration. And then Green Locks is the... MSC uh, system that Filtrex has, which is a, a full retaining system which would replace blocks or um, uh, wire baskets or, or something like that. Um, <clears throat> so the main components of all of these systems are, um, or components are, number one is uh, the Filtrex filter sock and it's, uh, it's a mesh, um, uh, tubular mesh uh, system that we fill with different materials. For sediment control, uh, as we talked about in an earlier webinar, um, we use uh, filter media to, to filter out sediment on, on job sites, construction sites. Um, in, in these applications, we're talking about a, a similar design mesh, but a much heavier duty um, and a different weave of mesh than, um, than in the sediment control applications. Um, and again, if you go to the design manual, there's a whole section on all the different types of, uh, of filter sock mesh that's available depending on the um, site characteristics and what you're trying to do with them. So we're happy to help you with them, but anywhere from um, photodegradable, biodegradable, up to non-degradable, um, heavy-duty uh, materials. Um, <clears throat> the next component is grow media, which is a, a material that we use for controlling erosion on slopes but also we use this in, in, in retaining wall systems and it's compost based and um, this is the material that gets blown into uh, the filter sock with the blower truck and terra seeded uh, and becomes really the, the green portion of the system. Um, Geogrid 
As per design, we use a number of different geogrids depending on which system we're working with. Again, uh, um, we're happy to help on the design side with them and there's a lot of information in the design manual on what grid is appropriate for what application. And then the other thing that's very important is the certified installation component. We are, as, as Elliot had mentioned, the uh, um, BC agents for Filtrex and so uh, we have certified uh, crews that that actually install so um, <clears throat> as well as we're certified in the design side uh, helping you design um, the the Filtrex um, products um, a few other things uh, system advantages of, of these systems <clears throat> one is it's a truly green technology uh, in that uh, these group walls actually go green um, Filtrex is very good at growing grass um, and supporting vegetation of other types. And so um, this system allows us to use the, the background with terrace seeding and using compost for erosion control and allows us to go vertical um, with, um, uh, with the same technology. Um, the footprint, um, <clears throat> we like to say that the system is, uh, these systems are light, uh, have a light footprint in that uh, we can go into areas like riparian areas uh, with the technology of the blower truck and be able to install uh, with minimal disturbance. Um, and that we've found to be very advantageous when working in, in fisheries um, uh, compensation areas and that type of thing uh, because we can just put uh, a couple of guys, as you can see in the picture, rather than heavy equipment to, uh, to, to do the installation. Um, it's also very efficient because of the way that we install them for a retaining wall system uh, and very flexible and adaptable so you'll see some project photos how um, the systems are used in different applications of course um, design would change for each one but we'll show you some photos of, of how they have been used so the first um, uh, system we're talking about is living walls um, uh, or living wall it's a trademark name and it's actually designed the design manual section 2.9 is is um, on on this system so again if you don't have the current design manual uh, get one from us but it's uh, the design manuals in there or the section is in there on on this system and, and the components and how you'd put it together um, as well as CAD drawings in the back that type of thing but uh, living wall is really um, designed as it's not a retaining slope treatment but really an erosion control um, or armoring treatment for slopes so we use these for um, those slopes that are generally greater than about two and a half to one uh, two to one even to one to one slopes where um, traditional vegetation a compost blanket or um, or terrace seating uh, are not going to, to stay on the slope. So it's just a, a containment system to keep that growing medium and the seed on the slope. Um, <clears throat> you get that again superior vegetation establishment because of the uh, uh, of the type of material and the terrace seeding method. Um, again it's very flexible. It can be plugged or terrace seeded and if you pull out that manual, uh, uh, the section of the manual again you'll see uh, the design criteria around them. This is one of the stock CAD drawings. There's a, there's a host of them in there that you can look at and, and might be uh, applicable to the situation. But it really involves the sock, stacking them on a slope. Uh, they can be staked. Um, at times we've used um, bioengineering methods, um, you know, pole cuttings, uh, willow stakes, that type of thing to secure them. Or they could be as simple as two by two, uh, uh, cedar posts or, or whitewood posts and then the whole system is seeded and, and vegetated and grows in. But it really is just for, for keeping the slope in its place, controlling erosion <coughs> um, on the steeper areas where other treatments won't work. Um, this is what it might look like, um, the before in the background, um, the after in the foreground. Um, but again, a situation where it was maybe too steep for just a compost blanket or, or terrace seating um, and allows you to, to plug into them um, or, or seed, terrace seed. Another situation where uh, you've got a steep slope that uh, you know was sloughing, it's just a cut slope. Um, and again, laying the sock in there allows the vegetation to, to grow and, and, uh, and stay in one position, but it is not a retaining system. So if you're trying to build a house on the top or, or retain soil, um, uh, wouldn't be the right uh, um, application of technology. Mm -hmm.